Are you a new mom struggling with breastfeeding positions? Fear not, because we're here to guide you through 10 different breastfeeding positions that can make this precious bonding time with your baby a breeze. First up is the cradle hold. This is often the first position that comes to mind when we think of breastfeeding. Here, you cradle your baby's head in the crook of your arm, with their body resting on your forearm, facing your breast. This position allows you to easily monitor your baby's latch and breathing. Next is the cross cradle hold, which is similar to the previous position, but offers more control over your baby's head and neck. You use the arm opposite the breastfeeding side to support your baby, guiding their mouth to your nipple. This position is especially useful for newborns and babies who are having trouble latching on. The football hold is ideal for mums with larger breasts, those who have had a caesarean section or mums with twins. Your baby is tucked under your arm, on the same side as the nursing breast, with their legs pointing towards the back of the chair. This allows you to control your baby's head and ensures a secure latch. Then we have the side lying position, where both you and your baby lie on your sides, facing each other. This position is excellent for night feeds or for mums who are still recovering from childbirth. It reduces the risk of your baby falling and allows you to rest comfortably during feeding. The laid-back breastfeeding position involves you reclining comfortably, with your baby lying on you, chest to chest. Gravity aids in helping your baby latch on, and this position is relaxing for you. It's also beneficial for babies who prefer to take control of their feeding. In the upright breastfeeding position, your baby sits upright on your thigh, or supported by your arm, facing your breast. This position is suitable for older infants and babies with reflux, as it helps to prevent milk from coming back up. Dangle feeding involves you leaning over your baby, who is lying down, allowing gravity to assist with milk flow. This can help clear blocked ducts, but should be used cautiously to avoid straining your back and ensuring your baby's safety. For mums of twins, the double football hold allows you to feed both babies simultaneously. Each baby is positioned as in the football hold, one under each arm. This requires a large pillow or twin nursing pillow for support. The lying back position is a variation of the laid back breastfeeding position, where you are less reclined. This position is comfortable for long feeds and helps manage a forceful letdown, reducing the risk of your baby choking on fast flowing milk. Finally, the straddle hold involves your baby straddling your leg while facing one of your breasts, with you supporting your baby's back. This position is good for older babies who can hold their heads up. It offers a different angle for your baby to latch on and can help with certain breastfeeding challenges. In summary, there are many breastfeeding positions that can help make feeding more comfortable for both you and your baby. It's all about finding what works best for you and your little one. Remember, every mom and baby pair is unique, and what works for one might not work for others. So take your time, be patient with yourself and your baby, and enjoy these precious moments. Happy breastfeeding!